And hello, hello, welcome and welcome in. This is Menti. We're playing Tiny Rogues today, which I haven't played in ages. I recently started a new save file on stream for the sake of uh, literally just getting back into the game and learning what the game is like. But hey, look at us over here. We've got a bunch of points that we can assign. Healing rewards are 25% more common while at the brink of death. Gain one revive. You start with one soul heart. A locked cell has never contained locked treasure chests. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. We also gain curses less likely to downgrade room rewards. Secret rooms are highlighted. Um, gain suppression uh, in the floor 1, 2, and 3 boss fights. Defeating a boss without taking damage grants you one magic find, just for that reward selection. And completing an entire floor without taking damage makes a boss reward plus one reward. Floor 10 always has a tavern. While you are level 0, bosses have less health and armor. You're guaranteed a door that leads to a weapon reward as a boss reward. 20% um, chance to gain the maximum amount of rewards from a room. If a rerolled amount of room rewards is below average, the amount is rolled again, taking the higher of the two values. Oh, these are like you go for one or the other. Once per room, when you enter a floor beyond uh, floor one without any gold, gain five gold. Once per run. Um, without any keys. I'll grab that. Okay, aside from that, uh, we've got... A bunch of other things here, like Cinder and stuff like that. Oh, this is what makes uh, the run mo modifiers that make the game harder. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that the game has. Uh, let's start with a bandit. A ruthless bandit involves in organized raids on towns and travelers. You encounter more shops in every shop. You can take one item for free. And... Smoke grenade. For a smoke grenade that inflicts confusion and explodes when ignited by explosion damage. Bandana, bandits, armor, and crossbow. We'll just start a run, see how it goes, and hope that we have a good time. I just remember I forgot to teach you about skills. Mouse right, okay. We'll skip about, uh, skip out on all of this. Uh, skill effect. Oh, it's a charm. Interesting. There we go, we get some dexterity. Our weapon scales with dexterity and mana. Just a crossbow. Um, let's go with a blessing. Do these heal each other? Choose one, more companion damage, more attack speed, more attack speed. Let's go with that. I think that's permanent. Fantastic. We can go for some strength as well, just to get a level up as quickly as possible. More dexterity. Some bombs. Buy a flower circlet for gold. We don't really have gold. We level up. I'd love to get the infusion. One that... Uh, Shadow Order deal dark damage. Shadow Order inflict all stacks of gloom at once. Every three seconds trigger grenade throw that deals explosion damage. On dash, grants four stacks of tailwind, which gives attack speed, movement speed, and other stuff. We'll go with a grenade throw. I feel like that sounds pretty fun. Um, Companion is pretty neat. 
Your presence tarnishes the sanctity of the forest. I will be at. I will be the end of this. Are you prepared to feel the true wrath of the forest? And I was that. So over here we gain the honeycomb, summons bee companions, limit is 4, attack, uh, thrusting damage, inflicts poison, grants poison damage, spider silk, crit uh, grants uh, critical hit, and over here we've got the horse companion, grants movement speed and striking damage. We'll take this. Well, that's useful. The pets were added at some point. Um, don't really need recovery. Get a better weapon. This over here scales really well with. Dexterity, this thrusting damage, this also does that. But this mm, 220 to 314. It's less, but it's got 9.4 attack speed. Yeah, that seems pretty good. It does scale with um, magic as well, we just need grants two keys, cursed keys, buy mining gear for gold, mining gear, um, price take one for free, eight, eight gold. Uh, gold rune rewards additionally grant a steak, pear, or candy pickup. It's pretty nice. More effects on debuffs. These are the gloves. Um, demolition gloves. I'll grab it. I'll grab this. Explosive set effect. Grants more explosive crushing hit chance. And with more explosion damage and area radius for explosions. Cool. What does this do? Like a bomb, but with more kaboom. We'll go with gold. Since we've got the thing that gives us a level up thing. Wait. Steak, pear, or candy pickup. We didn't get one. <laughs> I don't think. We get a level up. Elements inflicted by skills have more effect. Grants ruthless hit chance. Modifiers to your attack speed also apply to your tick speed. Ooh, that is very good. Ah, I see, I see. I just missed it earlier. An accessory. We don't have one at the moment, so I'll take it. Ooh, this is a boss I don't know yet. Looks like you dug your way into trouble. <laughs> Ouch, you twerp. Um, yeah, we're kind of strong. Got another crown here. Rare boots. Uh, your attacks cycle between dealing ruthless hits, lethal hits, and sneaky hits. 
Okay, I don't know what that means. Ruthless uh, gain twice the top end damage. Uh, lethal hits damage uh, per 1% health of a target missing. So basically like an execute and sneaky hits deal t double crit hit damage. That seems pretty good. Cycling between them. I'm not sure if it means they're guaranteed. But uh, good shit. Don't need any of that. I'll take an infusion. Adds poison damage to weapons. We'll go with a pair. Took some damage. Need to I use my dash more often. Grinds a key or an event. Let's go with an event. Attempted root potion? Yeah. Uh yes. No. Uh yes. Stamina potion. Huh. Heart container. <laughs> Is it just what's it referencing? Permanently grants one maximum tipsiness to open keys. Seventeen gold, twenty-five gold. I'll grab that. Um. I don't think I need that necessarily. Alright, whatever. Burger is great. One dex. <clears throat> Your range damage is always considered to be close range. Uh, the damage from uh, uh, damage from lethal hits is affected by critical hit damage. Your weapon gains fifty to seventy-five radiant damage with cursed hits and fifty to seventy-five da dark damage with lucky hits. We don't have any reload, so we'll go with lethality for now. Bogo. I guess we'll go here. Hmm, I can smell your fear. Fresh meat is so hard to come by. Ah, oh, you got some bite to you. <laughs> It's pulling us in. Well, so far I haven't been hit. I don't know what that is over there. Is this build better than us? Ours. Ours does uh, 78 to 124 uh, damage. On the tally of three attacks, trigger a thorn volley that deals poison damage. Oh, that's nice. Attack speed is less, but it is still lots of damage. Like, lots more damage, essentially. Um, gain favor. Yeah, we can do that. We'll 
go for more health. Grants a potion. I don't know how, but I kind of paused the game there. More crit chance. Contains rare weapons. Contains random rewards. Use a key to open this. It's merely short range. There's a lot of damage. Um, we could go with gold. But I think this is better. Since we're guaranteed to get a thing that we need. Buy crystal items for gold. That deals crystal damage. Uh, crystal upgrade level, crystal gleaves, uncommon boots, and dash trigger crystal nova that deals damage. I'm honestly not interested. Mom, I don't recall your name. Are you interested in trade? Not really. Grants a key. I'll take it. Uh, we could upgrade our weapon. In fact, I might do that. Dexterity... Two dexterity is pretty great. One less strength though. A helmet. Who are you? You don't belong here. Shambling mound. Nobody can know. We cannot let you leave. Oh, we got him. Oh, that was quick. Boss of here grants bombs. Critical hit damage with weapons at up more critical hit damage with weapons at upgrade level four or higher. Uh, demolition helmet. Gain crushing hit chance with explosion crushing hit chance. Crushing hit is guaranteed to deal top end damage. If we find some weapon that does explosion damage, that would be pretty neat. Or like we currently are between a explosion build and uh, let's fully recover. It's not like we're gonna do anything else with our souls. Like we have a way of proccing poison. We have a way of proccing explosions. Pretty reliably, either way. 40% attack speed with weapons that scale with dexterity. Chill aura that deals cold damage per second, which is a tick thing. After not having attacked for 2 seconds, your next attack grants you courage uh, for 8 seconds. Max is 1 stack. We ha don't have any rerolls. I'm gonna go with electricity, I think. <laughs> I'll go with some of the intelligence here. Because I want permanent potion effects. Permanent infusion would also be very, very good. Like one or the other. Like we got two potions. Hmm. 
Hmm. Contains a weapon, Grand Slayer Stash, Grants a key. Let's go for the key. Not sure if we found any secret rooms yet. There's a potion. Inferno Orbital is fine. Buy a companion four golds or a stash that contains potions. Summon Chicken Companion. Chance uh, to trigger on attack effects. Summons Mana Worm. Damage per mana container. You have 20% coronary. Epic Rare. Epic type of uh, more crit chance. Oh. Mm, what we could do is... This gives us a crit chance. We do work quite well with crit chance. Like, I'm... I'll take the rewards. The chest. Mojo Talisman. Poison duration, toxic effect. Grants three dice. Would be great to have for rerolls. Ethereal and whatnot includes at least one pair of boots. Include at least one. There we go. Anubis, Vera. Never mind. Poison seems pretty strong, I'm gonna lie. I'd love to get a one-handed weapon. So I'm not sure if this actually has an effect at the moment. We'll just see how it goes. Uncommon instrument, weapon type 200 magic. 200 ranged, 200 melee. Inflicts echo. Echo does sound damage when target takes damage. 200 weapon range. Fawn volley does a lot more. No, it does actually not a lot more damage. Damn. This is melee. This is ranged. It scales off of uh, intelligence too, which is very good. And it's got less attack speed, but it should be fine. T-Bone Steak is kind of bad, but we got it for free so we can sell it. Uh, what we could do is just drop the Spore Flail. I really like the Spore Flail does more damage than this. So we should go with the one that gives us probably the most gold, like the epic one here. I just learned how we can switch weapons. Oh damn, maybe I should do this then. <laughs> that took me too long to figure out. Yeah, 
It's the middle mouse button. Okay, um, doing well. Contains a weapon. I have no clue what this area is. Rare crossbow. Hellsingers. More damage against fiends. Happy has lucky hit chance. I don't know what happy means. It does more dam. It does less damage. But I'll take it, I guess. There's a free room. Rare wand. Weapon type is wand. Inflicts beetles poison. Beetles travel on after killing the target. Beetles deal damage. Take damage, damage over time. Oh, that's pretty fantastic, isn't it? And it scales with dexterity and magic. Better with magic, obviously, but you know. Two handed. Like, this is perfect for us. Um, but that said, I'll take this for now. Grants two trade tomes. So the beetles deal take damage. Uh, teaching and intelligence. Replaces a trade with a copolypse. Apocalypse. On skill use, trigger free meteors at each deal stuff. Do we get to choose which one? Adrenaline. Gain effect of emotions for missing heart. Um... I don't know what any of this means. More explosion damage. Explosion. This does less. Okay, we get to choose which one. Yes. Goodbye, lethality. Hello, adrenaline. Uh, gain one missing heart. Gain effect of emotions per missing heart. Oh. On skill use, trigger meteors that each deal fire damage. Well, in that case, I'll switch out the adrenaline. So with that said... I'm gonna go with some of this. These are homing, which is very good. Let's go with gold. And watch our experience. We do get experience. We got strength here. Buy tomes for gold. Um, Bramble Grove with agility. Modifies to attacks nature damage inflicts bleed battle rush grants power if you meet to break point what is oh movement speed a 25 percent increased movement speed um we gain more increased power interesting the nature damage inflicts bleed does this do nature damage no, it's poison. Maximum stacks is infinite. For poison. Does this do fawn volley? Doesn't do nature damage either. Uh, modifies to your movement should also apply to attack speed, which is pretty good.
So we gain, because of our movement speed, we gain 11% attack speed, which applies to our uh, tick speed. I don't care about the rest, I don't think. Keys is okay. Cost one heart to open. Uh. Here we go. At least one helmet. Are uh, all companion summon items? Yeah, well, we can only have, like, even the beast, even the stake we've got is kind of bad. Library Guardian. But that's an Avatar The Last Airbender reference. Really took damage there. Oh, that over there is a revive. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What do we get? Like, I don't mind change. Like, this is okay. Uh, poison damage. <laughs> Inflict frostbite to all enemies. Grants tell wind. It's just more poison damage. I'll take it. Do we get slow because of that? Lava area. Mana container when bombed. We'll go for the dexterity up there. It's plus three right after all. That's gonna scale up our damage. Uh, event. Plus one luck. Twenty power. More attack speed. Oh damn, we c can take all of them? We don't need that anymore. I'll take a blessing. Uh, lucky hit chance, crit hit chance, plus one good. Let's go with lucky hit chance. We'll go with dexterity. Need one more level. This is a truly magnificent weapon. Into battle. Let's go. Got a shop over here. We'll go with gold. We'll gain um, one trade point. A treat of some kind. Got some intelligence. Which is good. Can read all once. Grants chill aura, grants poison aura, uh, damage from your skill, inflicts fatigue. More damage taken, less movement speed. I'm gonna re roll here. A skill doesn't deal damage after all, I don't think. Grants melee attack speed per mana container you have. On dash, repeat your next two attacks. The repeats deal double damage. Sounds great. I'll take it. Contains rewards. I'll take it. I don't think we'll find a pawn shop. Elephant grand suspicious eye overhaul that deals 500 to 1060 damage. Um, equip load penalties. Equip load currently sucks. The 
plus 15 plus 40. We need to get more strength, I guess. Like, if we're just gonna sell it, you know, might as well put it over there. You know, take that one instead. Uh, and clear at least one ra uh, Oh, at least one champ. Let's go. Hey, it's the dragon. I am the king under the mountain. I am fire. I am death. It's smoke. Okay, we're dealing lots of damage. Just look at that damage right there. Damn. Took two hits there, which is annoying. Lucky hit chance, assassin gloves. Oh, right. Um, tick speed. This gives us lucky hit chance, which is a charm. This gives us tick speed, which is really good for a poisoned build. Then we wouldn't get the explosion build. <laughs> but, like, we don't need the explosion build. Um, lucky chance also doesn't matter, really. Maybe we can change out our stuff. Dexterity and intelligence, I'll take it. Grants four to five bombs. Grants you soul hearts when bombed. Let's go with that. Grants a key. Grants three to four dice. I don't know what the dice do. Um, contains equipment. Offhand. One block, recharges block every room. Rare pass, lucky eight chance. I'll take it. Sell weapons and equipment, finally. It's pretty nice. How about nine gold? I'll take it. After all, it's, re uh, it's a resell, right? I mean, I got it for free, so it's fine. Um, I'll take the power potion. Let's get some dexterity.
At least one charm, fantastic. Oh, it's some um, Arch Pontiff. Some guy. It's just little guy. And we're just gonna move on. Like, like. We don't even have to aim. We'll be able to just zoom in on him. Movement speed is amazing. You can't just having all boss crowns collected. <laughs> per elemental damage that you have dealt in the past. No. There's more attack speed and as such more... Um, there's more movement speed and as such more attack speed and as such more tick rate. There you go, magic weapon refills all hearts and flasks. Oh, we could have done it there. Instead. Oh, it's whatever. We gained 100% attack speed through this. At least 15 intelligence, we don't have that much. Um, magic very fast, slashing, fractal glaive. The slashing is ranged. There's a lot of damage. Holy, wait, 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 wait. Can't get that. Uh, random consumer bolts or dice. We'll take the dice, I guess. Buy equipment for souls. We can just do that. And then uh, contains rewards, upgrades weapons and whatnot. Doesn't matter really, I don't think. That's gonna be a uh, level up. Here we go. Um, each point of dexterity additionally grants lucky hit chance. Gain st uh, per weapon upgrade level you have. Your weapon gains more radiant. Don't put, mm. Don't like any of those. Ailments inflicted by skills have 100% more effect. It's pretty good. Grants effect of debuffs if you have repeated an attack in the past 4 seconds. That is pretty amazing. Attacks with one-handed weapon inflict taunt. More damage taken at close range. This reroll on, on dash. Refresh the duration of all damage over time effects on all enemies. That's pretty good. I guess we'll take that. Lawyer chance to reduce the lawyer curse to reduce the chance. Uh, well, oh. 
Well, that sucks. Oh, I got something with crushing damage. I don't know what it did. Last one. Helmet. Reduces tally thresholds by 30%, doesn't matter really. Each point of an additional grants debuff effect. Uh, Dark Covenant, radiant damage, doesn't matter really. Off we go. On to floor 10. Dexterity and intelligence. Uh, we'll go with infusion. Yeah. What are we over here? Summons two jellyfish companions. Spectral blade wand, there we go. Um, harp crossbow, what did you loot? Epic bow. It does a lot less damage though. These are companions. You genuinely don't want any of these. Rare gloves, debuff effect. Yes. We'll take a key. Grand Skull, there's an event here. Feed me salts. Wait, no. Select a trade to replace. Yeah. It's basically a reroll. Infusion effect buffs are permanent. Amazing. If we now find more infusions, that's going to be amazing as well. Grants an infusion. We're low at health. Uh, there's another key. There's buy items for gold. Repairs armor. Applies a random enchantment modifier to weapon. Grants a soul heart. Sniper. Fantastic. We can't get through there. Um, weapons don't really scale. 
Gaining strength would give us more equipment load though, so I'll take it. Meaning we would not get slowed down quite as much, meaning one final rest. Get you an items for free, fully recover, we can't do that. Um, it's death. We have one revive. Enough. Okay, we got revived. I love not having to aim. So if I ever fight against death with uh, one heart or less, I don't care at all about these. Sure. You feel watched. Something is uh, draining your life or try to resist? Yeah. Whether you accept your fate, uh, whether you resist or accept your fate, death is inevitable. We died. Oh no. Death claims another. But as such, we beat a run of Tiny Rooks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Game was saved. Oh, fantastic. Love to see it. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to see more, let me know. I'll probably end up playing all of the characters at least once. With each actor you gain new strength. I wonder, I wonder. And then uh, we can grab... Hmm. I'll look into that another time. Let's take to the tile screen. This was Tiny Rogues. If you want to check out the game for yourself, uh, it's great. Love it to bits. Need to play more of it. I'll see you around. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Uh, this was Maggie. I'll see you around. I'm tired. <laughs>